Florence wants to be one of the cities where the debate on the future of Europe takes place. I welcome the decision of the European University Institute to keep this important early appointment. We'll have uh, undoubtedly a lasting impact on our societies, on our economies, on attitudes uh, to, uh, towards uh, the European project and uh, at many uh, other levels. We have been given a chance to take a leap forward, to imagine our social contract, to reconsider Europe's strategic autonomy and recognize the risk of not taking the environment seriously. These are all areas where acting together is in our common interest and where common interest will actually serve self-interest. This is a good opportunity. Every pandemic teaches us something. And I think this pandemic teaches us about a solidarity, cross-wide solidarity, and not point fingers while we all fight together. I think one of the striking differences is the speed in which everything has happened. Um, within a period of some weeks, the whole economy has taken such a huge shock. There's a constant dialogue with the population from the authorities that the, the, the people understand why they ha can't go back to what they, where they were before. For sure, when we tell people you can get back to work, you can go back to consume, you can go back to spend, for sure there's going to be a lot of recovery right away. Having said that, I also am extremely confident that that recovery will not be immediate. The ECB has acted swiftly as it should to preserve financial stability. It has acted swiftly in defense of the inflation target, and especially it has acted swiftly in defense of the Euro and the European Monetary Union by trying to prevent a fragmentation of financial markets. Two differentiated consequences on the economic field, and this really could, as President Macron said, make um, the, the under pressure all the, the European buildings. Uh, big shocks. It can lead to constructive change or they can lead to destructive change. And we're still in the early days of uh, this pandemic. Now, the way out would be rational, scaled and solidaristic policies on many fronts, starting with public health and including financial solidarity to get through this crisis. Because our notre défi n'est pas simplement de traverser la crise. Les pandémies, comme les crises économiques, ont un début, un milieu, une fin. Nous avons commencé à livrer la bataille en y jetant d'ores et déjà des moyens considérables. Et nous savons que nous remporterons cette bataille. Il n'y a pas le moindre doute à cet égard. Si nous devons overcome la crise et l'économie médicale, une réponse coordonnée et une solidarité basée sur la réponse doit être une réponse globale. Nous sommes better world when we work uh, together. And this particular crisis, we cannot beat individually. We can only beat it working together.